Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Here's Morgan gloated that he has been proven right about Meghan Markle while taking the opportunity to swipe at Susanna Ray. So guys, before we get right into the story, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, give the video a like and please also watch it right up to the very end. Piers Morgan could not hold back his joy after a journalist admitted she had switched side and found herself in the uncomfortable position of agreeing with the outspoken talk TV host views on Meghan Markle. In his delight, Piers quipped that he is often proven right and invited his former co-host Susanna Ray to confirm his sentiment. He shared a tweet from Australian newspaper The Age which quotes journalist Jacqueline Malay saying that, with sadness, many of us have moved to the same side of the dispute as Piers Morgan, never a comfortable position to find oneself in. The tweet also linked to Jacqueline's article headline saying, it is okay to switch sides in the Mexic wars, asking for a friend. The opinion piece discussed how public opinion may have changed since Meghan's interview with the cut, particularly her breathtaking comparison to Nelson Mandela. After seeing the article, Piers gloated, cheer up, I'm usually proven right in the end about most things. At the time of writing, Susanna has not responded to Piers' remark. Following the publication of Meghan's interview last week, Piers Morgan has taken issue with you know, a myriad of statements made by her. One that particularly got his back up was when she claimed that she would not have been able to pick up her children from school if the family continued to live in the UK. Meghan told journalist Alison Davis that she would have faced the press pen of false people snapping pictures at the school gate. In the aftermath, ITV News royal editor Chris Schiff took to Twitter to dispute Meghan's comment, writing that the only time cameras are allowed for school run is on the first day of school. Only two cameras are permitted, one TV and one photo, who agree to share footage with other broadcasters and publications. It's simply wrong for Megan to claim there would be 40 people snapping pictures. Pierce then responded to Chris and praised him for calling out the Duchess. He exclaimed, he said, yes I know, so Marco lied so she did to Oprah. Good to see you calling her out. Pierce was also urged that Megan called it herself a real life princess. In the bombshell chat. An excerpt shared on the cut's Twitter read, Megan is still very aware that people see her as a princess. It's important to be thoughtful about it. There are little girls that I meet and they are just like, oh my god, it's a real life princess. Pierce responded in view of this of his 7.9 million followers with just a sick emoji. So guys, with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.